um, I'm going to move on now. That's very interesting. Well, thank you for that, uh, the basics. So now I'm going to move on to ask you, um, go into a little bit more detail into the steps. Um, so what, uh, what tips would you give um, lawyers or self-represented litigants on the opening? You, you mentioned uh, opening statements just now. So mm -hmm. yeah, can you give us some tips as to how to do a good one? If you're a self-represented litigant, I would stick to what I call the 25 words or less version, right? Mm -hmm. Because you're going to tell your story from the witness stand. You're going to get in the witness stand, swear or affirm to tell the truth, and then you're going to tell the whole story to the judge. So you don't need to do it in the opening. In the opening, what you need to do is pinpoint the issue, the reason, the real reason you're there. So for example, um, say somebody owes you $10 and they haven't paid it. So you issue a claim in small claims court. Mm -hmm. I mean, you probably wouldn't for $10, but <laughs> just for the example, mm -hmm. um, when you go to open, you would say, I sued this person because this person owes me $10. I've asked this person to pay it and it hasn't been paid. That's your opening right? The other way you can do it, you can do it with a bit more detail, uh, but I would, I would generally leave this to paralegals or lawyers, right? Uh, because a paralegal or a lawyer might open with something like, um, I will show you evidence that, right? I've brought evidence in the form of documents that this person owes $10 and they haven't paid it. There's a promissory note I'll show you. Um, there's a photograph I'll show you of me giving him $10, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but I don't think that's really necessary. What's necessary is to tell the court in the really short version why you're there. I'm here because I'm owed money and it hasn't been paid. Now, right. do you have more tips for the opening statements? Uh, for opening statements, yeah, there's just the two ways you can do it. But I really think it boils down to what I call the 25 words or less version. Now, when right? the uh, lawyer, oh, sorry, lawyers know what they're doing usually, but okay, so when the lawyer the, or the self-represented, let's call them the party, when they're yeah. giving this opening statement, they are not in the witness stand. Correct. Right. So they're at that podium that's kind of like in the middle of the courtroom. Yes. Yes. So they go up to the podium and they say, and I think that what um, is really surprising to me and to I think a lot of people learning this process um, is that what we're saying at the opening statement um, is not to be considered as evidence. That's really, really interesting because that, that all these words that we're uh, uttering, <laughs> um, that's not under oath. Correct. Yes, yes. That, that's really, really interesting, really good point to, to note. Yeah.